Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the DC TV shows. There have been some new leaks that have been leaked. So we're going to talk about this in today's video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video and it is informative for you guys, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So yeah, some big, big pieces of potential information have come out. They are coming from 4chan, I'm sure some of you guys have seen it over the weekend. And again, and I say this with most leaks, take it with a big, big grain of salt because it's a leak after all and it may not be true, but I feel like as a channel that goes over news, goes over everything leading up to our show's returns, and obviously we cover the shows when they return, but leading up to them, we have to go over everything that potentially could be to do with what's going to happen with our shows. So, I'm going to be going over this, but again, take it with a grain of salt, don't believe everything you hear. However, sometimes leaks are correct, so, you know, listen in and watch the whole video. Okay, so the first piece of information says this. John Digger will officially become Green Lantern in the Superman slash Batwoman crossover. The taking from Carl Rayner's origin story with Diggle ending up with the last power ring after the Green Lantern corpse is wiped out. That was Warner's mandate for CW to get to use Green Lantern. So again, this is very interesting. We've talked about Green Lantern lots of times actually as of right now. And we've been theorizing when we're actually going to be getting John Diggle back because we're kind of expecting him to go back. I don't think most of the characters from Arrow are like just going to stay away forever. And I'm fairly sure that, you know, with how they ended him in Crisis, I know he came back for an episode in The Flash. He had, you know, a final episode on Arrow. But I mean, in terms of, you know, how he ended with the green box, it was definitely a huge reference to Green Lantern and so if this leak is true supposedly he will come back he will return that's a big thing by itself but the other big thing would be he would be a Green Lantern they would be taken from Kyle Rayner's story so I'm presuming if this leak is true and they're talking about like taking an actual story like how Diggle you know became the Green Lantern during this time that he's been away maybe he's been doing Green Lantern stuff out there in the universe John is going to have to have a big portion of that crossover of the Superman slash Batwoman crossover and I don't know how likely that is considering the crossover is only going to be two episodes long and it's not going to be like a five episode long crossover where he's going to have much time to shine. So I mean you could put that into questioning so let me know what do you think about that in the comments down below do you think Green Lantern is going to come. Okay, the next bit says this, Godspeed will be the main villain of The Flash this season and won't be August Hart. Reverse Flash, Mirror Master, Bloodwork and Chill Blaine are going to have recurring appearances. Okay, so Chill Blaine, as I believe you say his name, um, hasn't actually appeared in the TV shows yet. In the comics related to Golden Glider, who we have in fact seen in the show, also related to Captain Cold, so He's a criminal and he works very much so within the reins of those two characters. Obviously, Golden Glider and Captain Cold are siblings in the TV show. And so this is in relation to that. So, I mean, you can look him up. I'm not going to get into depth about Chill Blaine because I don't think he's going to be that much of a big character. However, that character is supposedly going to be showing up. And obviously the big thing here is the supposed confirmation that Godspeed will be the main villain of The Flash Season 7 and you also have the mention that it's not going to be August Hart. I guess we kind of all expected that but if that turns out to be true that's going to be perfect and it's going to be a great mystery and I can't wait to continue with that. Reverse Flash, Mirror Master and Bloodwork will show up. We kind of suppose Reverse Flash would show up. Mirror Master, I guess, because it's a bit in relation to Mirror Mistress, either. I don't think they're going to meet each other, but I guess it works as a sort of continuation. Also, Bloodwork, that was a teaser last season in regards to him coming back, so that would make sense as well. So, for now, I mean, all of this makes sense, and we were kind of expecting Godspeed to be at least one of the main villains this season. We know that the main villain supposedly will have like two of them, so I'm pretty sure Godspeed's at least going to be like one of the main overarching villains 
in this next season. So I mean, this bit seems pretty, pretty good and very reasonable. Let's move on to the next bit. So there is some bits about Legends. We're just going to skip forward to the Supergirl bit because this is quite important. So the Fatal Five will be the main villains of the final season of Supergirl which will borrow heavily from Alan Moore's story, Whatever Happened to the Man of Tomorrow. And the plan is to end Supergirl with her leaving for the 31st century to be with Monel and join the Legion of Superheroes. So again, we've heard this theorized and this is the biggest theory going on right now that as the show ends, she's just gonna go to the future, join the Legion of Superheroes and continue on with that. I'm gonna get into more detail in regards to the Legion in tomorrow's video because there was an interesting post by Jesse Rath and I want to talk a bit about Legion and a bit about, you know, the fortress and why that Legion ring was there and what that could mean. I think I want to talk about that in more depth. But for now, let's talk about the Fatal Five and who they are and why it's possible they can be the main villains of Supergirl Season 6 and also maybe why not. So the Fatal Five in the comics, well especially DC Rebirth, they are a team which is led by the Emerald Empress who comes to 21st century to destroy Saturn Girl only to also fight Supergirl. To combat Supergirl after failing to take her down on her own, she forms a 21st century version of the Fatal Five consisting of characters like Magog, Indigo, who we've seen before on Supergirl, and the sorceress Selina. In addition, Selina strengthens the Fatal Five by creating a mindless clone of Solomon Grundy. The Fatal Five then begins their attack on Supergirl, and after breaking Indigo, Supergirl thwarts Emerald Empress's plot, where she fades away to the future, causing the people of National City to think that Supergirl killed her. And so, that is what the Fatal Five is, and so think about it, tell me what you think in the comments down below, but right now I'm going to tell you what I think, and I think it's possible that they can do the Fatal Five, but I think it's unlikely that they're going to use every single character, they're definitely not going to use Indigo, because Indigo was not one of the most beloved villains in Supergirl Season 1, and the fact that they've already defeated Indigo, I think it would kind of defeat the point if they brought back Indigo, and so... I don't see them bringing the Fatal Five, they could do a version of that where there used to be five members, now there's like two members or something, and also due to restrictions at the moment, I doubt they're going to add like five new series regulars because that is very risky as of right now, and I think they would just want like one or two people at the very maximum. So. I mean, logistically, it doesn't make sense to have five characters as of right now in today's environment. And you do have to remember that Jesse Raff a while ago said there is going to be a Legion S storyline they're going to be going down this season. And however, it won't be a Legion storyline, it will just feel like it. And I mean, if we talk about what they say next in regards to Kara going to the future, to the 31st century, to be with Monel, I mean, the only thing that doesn't make me believe what they're saying in the leaks, and I've said this before, is the fact that they are saying this is how the show is going to end, when I know for a fact the writers maybe have thought of stuff, but they've not put down anything concrete as of yet. Because if you don't know how the CW shows are run, they're actually run in that, yeah, they might have an idea of how it's going to end at the end of the season, say. They write as they go along, so they haven't got to that final episode 100% as of right now. So, I mean, that is reason to doubt this and to doubt any rumors that says how Supergirl is going to end this season. However, I mean, the Fatal Five storyline does make sense and it's a little bit Legion esque if we talk about the Fatal Five, but I mean, I don't think if we get them, we're going to see like a proper full on five villain Fatal Five, you know, maybe. They used to be a Fatal Five or something like I mentioned before. So let me know in the comments down below what do you think about all of this. I don't know how likely it is, but we'll have to wait and see. Okay, the next bit is this. John Cryer is in talks to join Superman and Lois as Lex Luthor wants Supergirl raps. There's already a story in mind for him and Will Parks, who is the alternate universe Luthor with a unique dynamic with Superman. So that last bit doesn't really make much sense. Basically, they mean there is going to be some sort of 
strange dynamic because there's going to be two versions of Lex Luthor potentially in Superman and Lois's next season or towards the end of the season, I guess. So, I mean, it's not too far-fetched to suppose that John Cryer is going to show up at some point on Superman and Lois once Supergirl ends because he is a fan favourite right now on Supergirl and considering Supergirl will go away, I presume some of the Supergirl characters are going to pop up on other shows and it makes complete sense that Lex Luthor or, you know, our normal version of Lex Luthor in the Arrowverse is going to somehow have a face-off with Superman at one point. And so apparently they've already got a story in mind, which I guess has been a question and probably they've been asked about what you're going to do with Lex Luthor, are you going to keep this alternate version played by this other actor or are you going to bring in John Cryer at some point to play, you know, the original version of Lex. So, I mean, not too out there. I think there is a high chance that John may show up on Superman and Lois. I think it's pretty damn likely. Let's move on to the next bit. So this says Ruby Rose has been approached to appear in at least one episode of Batwoman later in the season to wrap up Kate Kane's storyline. There's also plans to introduce the real Bruce Wayne further down the line and reveal why he left Gotham. So yeah, again, this sounds very, very viable could totally happen seems very likely that ruby rose will show up at some point to wrap up her story to wrap up kate's story because that is a cliffhanger that will be continuous throughout the season there will be a mystery surrounding why the original version of batwoman left and disappeared i'm sure the showrunners are trying to get ruby back at some point i don't think ruby would be so opposed to actually showing up for like one episode or something like that I know it would be a big hassle right now due to restrictions in travel, but maybe later towards the end of the season, hopefully when things are better, she may be able to travel up and do one episode or something like that. I think that is definitely possible, but maybe a bit optimistic as Ruby was the one who wanted to leave the show, so maybe she doesn't want to come back, but we'll have to wait and see as in regards to that point. And so in regards to the real Bruce Wayne showing up further down the line, I guess we kind of expected this would happen, but considering she is not, you know, a relative of Bruce Wayne, I don't know what the relevance would be, and I don't know how relevant it would be in a Batwoman show when it's about Batwoman, and I don't know how interested we are, and they are as showrunners and as writers on the show, to show Batman's story when it's supposed to be Batwoman's story. So, I mean, that's a bit debatable, but at the same point, we are expecting a version of Bruce Wayne, the real Bruce Wayne in this case, to show up at some point. Okay, now let's move on and Light Lightning will have a stronger presence in the greater CW-verse and will explore the origins of metahumans, which will tie in with the Flash. Even if no Flash characters actually get to appear, Metamorpho will be introduced so this makes sense considering Black Lightning was a big part of Crisis on Infinite Earths. We kind of expected him to show up at some point and link into the Arrowverse. So now he's confirmed to be a part of the Arrowverse and I presume his Earth has been merged to Earth Prime. So yeah, Black Lightning's probably going to be around a bit more. He's going to have a greater part to do with the Arrowverse. And I guess as in regards to what they're saying here, that they're going to explore the origins of metahumans, which will link into the Flash, but I mean, the Flash has explored their own version of how metahumans got their powers, which was to do with Star Labs. That's always been a big thing on the Flash, to do with the multiverse and to do with, you know, just the characters that are there. So, I mean, maybe, you know, in Black Lightning's version of reality, they got their powers in a different way. Well, obviously, Black Lightning didn't get it from the Particle Accelerator or something, so... I guess there is some explaining to be done, and so even if there's no Flash characters actually appearing, they're going to be linked to the Flash somehow. Alright, let's move on to the next bit. So Stargirl will be extended to 18 to 22 episodes per season due to its popularity. Next season will have several mini arcs that converge on the main storyline featuring Eclipso as the main villain. So Stargirl being extended to 18 to 22 episodes. I mean, it's very likely, however, the cast have actually said that they're going to be doing 13 episodes this next season, so this piece of information in this leak 
leads me to very much so question the integrity of this source. Because that is kind of public knowledge as of right now and unless they've, you know, rapidly changed something, I don't think they're going to boost it up to 18 to 22 episodes when it's currently in 13. If they amp it up, they may do like a Superman and Lois and just amp it up by a few episodes. However, as of right now, there is no plans to do that. So, I mean, this may be one big thing where you're like, okay, how trustworthy is this source? Do we believe this source? As of right now, very questionable. Okay, so let's move on to the last piece of information from this leak. And this says, there are plans for two-part Flash slash Stargirl and Flash slash Black Lightning crossovers once it's safer to do so. So, I mean, that's pretty much common knowledge that Stargirl is going to cross over at some point. And considering The Flash is the biggest show and there have actually been talks about The Flash crossing over with Stargirl, I don't think this is breaking news and I don't think that, you know, they're definitely not thinking about this. But at the same time, it's pretty damn obvious that this is going to happen at some point, that Stargirl is going to cross over with The Flash, that Flash is probably going to cross over with Black Lightning again, considering they work so well in Crisis. So again, this just seems like a bit of theory crafting here from the source so yeah that is about it for this video guys so we went over most of this leak which came from 4chan you guys can be the judge of how true this source is and do you think it is the truth or do you think they're making some stuff up do you believe in some stuff i am not completely one side or the other i think some things make it seem like this could be made up but at the same point, some things seem very reasonable. So I think you guys have to be the judges of all of that. So let's get a conversation going in the comments down below. Tell me, what do you think about this? How likely do you think that all these pieces of information are going to be true? Do you think the leak is real or not? And so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will have a Supergirl video out tomorrow. Where we will be talking about the Legion of Superheroes and everything that potentially could happen in this next season of Supergirl. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.